do you know those streaks that you get on your bathroom walls, uh, especially after you take a hot shower? You'll see streaks running down the wall, and potentially they could be colored, where it really looks like a nicotine stain coming down the wall. That is called surfactant leaching. It's a big word basically for the surfactants that they add into, into paint uh, and soaps and things like that. When you take a hot shower, paint breathes. So moisture is going in your wall, it's coming out of your wall. It's going in the wall, it's coming out of the wall. That's what it's supposed to do. Sometimes when the moisture comes back out of the wall, it's pulling the surfactants back through the paint. So you start to get these bleeding walls. Now, yep, you can, you can wipe it off and get the moisture off while you're in there. However, you still see the stains afterwards, right? What happens is it's preventable. You want to take a look at your exhaust fan. That's where we take a look first or we direct our customers to look first. Is it adequate? Are you using it is, is the better thing. I know even at my house, I'll go in sometimes after my wife and the bathroom is completely steamed up. The exhaust fan's not running. And I know right to the right hand side of my sink, there is surfactant leaching. Now, eventually it'll stop. Understand that this is not your painter's fault. This is not your fault if you painted the wall. And it's not the manufacturer of the paint. It's not their fault. It's not Benjamin Moore's fault. It's not Sherwin Williams' fault. It's just something natural that happens with paint, potentially because your exhaust system doesn't work well or you're not using it at all. So how do you fix it? You're not going to like the answer, but you need to continually clean that wall. Eventually, the surfactants will, there won't be any more leaching through and you'll have a clean wall. Can you avoid it? Maybe you could use a bathroom or spa paint. I know Benjamin Moore makes a good spa paint. Sherwin Williams, you're going to use their higher end paints. What's that? What's that going to do? It's going to help move that moisture in and out a little better without the surfactants coming through. But it's not a guarantee that it'll, it'll never happen. So what has happened a few times is a customer hasn't had it. And then we paint the bathroom and now they have it. So obviously they're going to say, hey, Amato Painting, we have an issue, it's your fault, I never had this before. That's not really true. What happens is we put new paint on and the paint's still breathing and it's pushing through the new paint. So keep it in mind, have some, have some patience with the painters, have some patience with the paint. There's really not much you could have done to avoid it. Again, have somebody take a look at your exhaust fan. Is it, is it big enough for the room? Is it working? Does it need to be cleaned? And do you actually turn it on?